Hi, today we're going to talk about a simple concept called savings. Do you know that your savings are not going to be enough? That is because savings are not equal to investments. And unless you're investing your savings wisely, you will find that uh, you are not in a proper state of financial well-being. Your savings can come to your life for today's life. If there is an emergency or an urgency, then you can get out of your savings. लेकिन जो आने वाली जिंदगी है जिसमें आपके फाइनेंशियल फ्यूचर अच्छा होना चाहिए उसके लिए बस सेविंग्स जरूरी नहीं है उनको सही तरीके से इन्वेस्ट करना भी बहुत जरूरी है नाउ व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय सेविंग्स सेविंग्स आर बेसिकली मनी इन योर बैंक सो यू नो इफ यू आर अ गुड सेवर इट मींस योर एसेंशियल मनी साइकिल गोस इन द वे दैट यू अर्न एवरी मंथ यू सेव एंड देन यू स्पेंड so that's a good discipline saver who realizes that uh, you have to take out your savings before you start spending agar aap acche se paisa bacha rahe hain bachat kar rahe hain to aapka bank balance jo hai wo har mahine thoda thoda badhta rahega kyunki aap jitna kama rahe hain usse kam aap kharch karte hain aur jo paisa bachta hai wo aapki savings hai to wo aapke bank uh, savings account mein hai wo aapke bank fixed deposit mein hai lekin jo paisa बैंक सेविंग्स अकाउंट ऑफिस डिपॉजिट में वो इन्वेस्टमेंट नहीं है और वो पैसा आज आपकी इमरजेंसी में तो काम आ सकता है लेकिन कल जब आपकी इनकम uh, नहीं होगी जब आप रिटायर हो जाएंगे तो ये सेविंग्स आपके काम नहीं आएंगी सो जस्ट सेविंग इज नॉट अनाफ यू हैव टू इन्वेस्ट वेल टू नाउ आई एम सेंग दिस बिकॉज यू नो योर सेविंग्स विल नॉट हेल्प योर वेल्थ टू ग्रो so in future when you are thinking about certain financial goals objectives your retirement your savings can very easily fall short and solely relying on your savings for your financial well being can uh, lead to disappointment as well so here are the things that your uh, savings will not achieve they will not help your wealth grow your savings uh, will also not be very tax efficient because money lying in the savings bank account and fixed deposits are subject to tax at your income tax rate also savings will not help the value of your money grow because the returns you get in a savings bank account and fixed deposits are lower than inflation so uh, the value of your money will actually decline if you are only focused on savings and lastly uh, you will not be able to accumulate enough that you need for your retirement which may be many decades away many years away but you need to start thinking about that now so don't rely only on savings investments need to come into the picture so agar aap khali savings pe dhyan de rahe hain to aapka paisa jo hai wo badhega nahi आप जब कमाएंगे नहीं तो आपकी रिटायरमेंट में भी ये सेविंग्स उतना काम नहीं आएंगे जितना आपको लगता है इसीलिए इन्वेस्ट करना बहुत ज़रूरी है और इन्वेस्ट आप कहाँ करेंगे सो लेट मी टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट्स व्हिच कैन हेल्प यू इफ यू इन्वेस्ट इन ग्रोथ एसेट्स लाइक इक्विटी एंड रियल इस्टेट यू कैन ग्रो मनी इन द वेरी लॉन्ग टर्म लाइक टेन ईयर्स फिफ्टीन ईयर्स एंड सो ऑन सो दैट्स रियली वॉट वेर योर रिटायरमेंट प्लानिंग कम्स इन Now equity as an asset class if you are investing through stocks and equity mutual funds it's very transparent it's flexible it's liquid and you can invest in small amounts real estate is also a good growth asset but it requires a lot more research it is a physical asset and it requires a lot more capital to begin with you cannot invest 500 rupees in buying property also if you are taking a loan to buy that property then it's a liability it's not an investment so think about this for your long term uh, wealth creation uh, then comes like bonds and debt mutual funds which can help you for a period of say 2 to 5 years where you are not so interested in sort of multiplying the capital but you are more interested in uh, safety of capital and getting some kind of regular income and earning more than what you will in a savings or a fixed deposit account then of course you can use gold uh, to hedge against inflation because when inflation is high in the economy the other asset returns can suffer so this little bit can go into gold as well uh, then we come to government uh, backed investments like your ppf public uh, uh, provident fund then there are saving certificate like nsc post depo- post deposit account uh, and so on these are good uh, for conservative investors who are not able to reconcile with the volatility in 
assets like equity or the kind of uh, you know uncertainty in assets like real estate so for them these kind of long term assets through saving certificate etc is not a bad option either however insurance traditional insurance is not an investment ulips which are unit linked insurance plans they are uh, primarily for the purpose of investing however they are not flexible you can't keep switching or changing if it's not performing well so that also you should keep in mind but more than anything else keep in mind that what you are saving is required for your current emergencies and any urgent needs etc but unless you convert some of those savings into wise investments you will not be able to take care of your future financial security and financial well-being savings are not equal to investment thank you for listening stay tuned for a lot more on personal finance right here on this channel